Hi, good day. This is Paul from Solace. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, another method for us to set up these uh, data logging sticks for to getting your inverter online. Um, this is just to continue on that the, the, the video that my colleague Travis did for setting up this data logger using the mobile phone app Solace Cloud. Um, with that mobile app, you cannot set up our old S. Um, well, our old DLS loggers with that app. So I'm going to be showing a method which we often call the 10.10.100.254 method or the browser method to set up these data loggers. Uh, so first things first, um, you connect the data logger into the bottom of the inverter, uh, into the only port it fits, so the green port. I'm going to show this method on the new S3 logger. So I'm, I'm just showing this for the purpose of that it also applies to this. In fact, it's actually a little bit easier on this because it doesn't have passwords, but this one has got passwords. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And um, yeah, so connecting this one into the bottom of the inverter of the, the, the port of the inverter, you, you'll see that it powers on provided that the inverter does have power. So it does get its power for the data logger from the inverter. And this applies for PV inverters, hybrid inverters, and EPMs. And there you go. As soon as it starts making good contact, it starts powering the red LED, which is power. So there's three LEDs on this data logger. There's power comms, which is communications between the inverter and the data logger. And then finally, there's net, which is representing if the data logger's got internet or not. Um, so that's plugged in and that's powered up to the inverter. Um, this data logger is actually set up already. It's got all three LEDs working, so that's in the perfect state. If you ever want to reset this data logger, because I do want to reset this data logger so that we can go through the configuration again, you press and hold the button at the back of the data logger for 10 seconds, and it goes into the first state of blinking quickly, which is in configuration mode, and then it goes completely blank, and then you know it's in a reset mode, and now it should not connect to the Wi-Fi network that's in this building at the moment, and it should remain offline and not communicating to Solid Cloud. Okay, setting up the data logger with its SSID and password is done through any smart device. So this is an Apple smart device. It works with Android, it works with Windows laptops, it works with tablets. So essentially what you need to do is make sure you connect through to the data logger's Wi-Fi network, um, making sure that you, you do not have any online or, or other Wi-Fi networks that the phone knows about or smart device knows about that has internet. And you do that on Apple by going to Wi-Fi settings, pressing I on the Wi-Fi network, and then you click on the top, forget this network, and you press forget. On Android, it's just as easy. On Windows, it's extremely easy. So you just make sure that the phone does not know about any other Wi-Fi networks or is automatically connecting to any other Wi-Fi networks that has internet. Then connect to the Wi-Fi network that has that, that, that the data logger is hosting to configure it, to give it the Wi-Fi details of the customer's house. The password for the data logger by default is one through to nine. So you press the numeric keyboard, please. And then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So and then you can press join on the top right. And then it should connect through to this network. On some devices, it says no internet on that network, which, is, which makes sense because we haven't configured this Wi-Fi network with internet. It won't have internet. There you go. So you got that message that says no internet connection. And that's why it's so important to forget other Wi-Fi networks because what many of our devices will do is jump off that Wi-Fi network and jump on the one with internet. So open up a browser, it can be any browser, type in the IP address 10.10.100.254, press go. Then it opens up the web page hosted by the data logger. If your phone doesn't know about the details, the username is admin or lowercase, and the password is 12345678. So if you're logging onto this web page for the very first time, you'll be prompt with the username and password, and that username is admin, and the password is 1 through to 9. You got many, you got a couple of different options here, a few different options here. And the one that we are interested in at the moment is quick set. So you press quick set. Zoom in a little bit so we can see it a bit better. 
And the top one is what is the SSID? So we're going to search for available Wi-Fi networks that the data logger can see. And you, we wanted to connect to Solus Office, but you would select here the customer's Wi-Fi network. So whichever Wi-Fi network that has internet and you have the details for is what you would select. So select that network, press OK. Then you type in the next field that's asking for the password for that network. So the password for that network is inverters. And then just you can, it's very important that you get this password right. If you did do any typos or anything like that, it wouldn't be revealed at this stage and it will, you would just have to try it again. So there we go. Uh, scroll, looking at the next set of options, we can obtain IP address automatically. In most of your cases, you will want to leave that enabled, but you can disable it and set a static IP if you so wish. Then press save. And then it comes up with a message, wait 10 seconds for the data logger to connect. And it, sh it should connect through to the internet of the customer's house and thereafter connect through to Solus Cloud and give the inverted data through to Solus Cloud so you can see it on Solus Cloud. Just to note, um, this process is completely independent of the process of creating a plant and adding a data logger serial number. It's two separate things, so you can do them at different times. So we've now connected through, this, through to Solus Cloud and we are done. Excellent, thank you.